continued political fallout for the Jersey City Councilwoman Amy DeGees after she left the scene of a collision with a cyclist. And there's new scrutiny now about where she lives in an incident in Hoboken where she appeared to use her elected position to try and get out of a police tow. News 12 in Jersey's Alex Sedan reports. The more that comes out, the more the people of Hudson County and Jersey City see that their worst fears are true. Jersey City Councilwoman Amy DeGeese lives in an apartment complex the city's own affordable housing guide says is only for those who make less than the average resident's salary. DeGeese makes nearly $200,000 per year and owns a home in the southern portion of the city. A lot of the citizens in Jersey City and in Hudson County see a system that doesn't apply to them, a system that only works for a special elite um, in Hudson County, and that's the politically connected. So where does the councilwoman live? The affordable housing apartment, the house, or somewhere else? Her camp says she lives in the apartment while the house had encountered renovation problems after she bought it in 2020. Yeah. Last weekend, advocates demanded DeGis' resignation, including Hector Oseguera, a progressive activist. DeGis has so far refused to step down, and just two members of the Jersey City Council have called on her to resign. Mayor Steve Fulop hasn't, and on Monday, Neither did Governor Murphy. I'll leave the actual politics to the to the local reality, but that's behavior that's unacceptable. Do you know she should be able to That's behavior that's unacceptable. Governor Cardin. Uh, by the police in Jersey City on a council. And video has surfaced of DeGis attempting to stop her SUV from being towed last November after her vehicle's registration had been expired for two years. And that video makes Oseguera believe that as long as Hudson County Democrats support DeGis, She's not going anywhere. She could shoot someone on Kennedy Boulevard and have it reported. And given the way that the Hudson County machine operates, I would still, in that instance, say that probably nobody can beat her at the ballot box. In Jersey City, Alex Sedan, News 12, New Jersey. DeGees has two public salaries, $105,000 a year from the Hudson County Schools of Technology and $85,000 as a councilwoman.